Tucked away along the busy, fast-paced, and ever-changing Cheshire Bridge Road lies a little store where time stands still. Are there holes for J-Bolt? Brothers Michael and Tim, however, do not. Probably too I mean, many. If there's not, I could put them in there. Their clock repair shop. I don't think this thing's been cleaned in 50 years. Can feel more like a time capsule. 20 millimeter spring bar. 20 millimeter? Yep. You sure? Yep. They work hand in yep. hand. Pretty sure anyway. With their dad, Tom. At a repair shop their grandfather first opened in 1943. It's as old as some of these grandfather clocks. We've dealt with generations of Atlantis families. About six years old, and at, at that point, I literally was changing batteries. Oh, I really love them. I honestly do. My dad probably has 10 or 12 in every room of the house, but none of them work typically. The constant ticking, like the heartbeat of a once popular line of work, now on borrowed time. I would say it's a dying art simply because there's no one young learning it. If only it were as simple. This clock was intended to be set backward. As rewinding the clock. The modern clock isn't made to be a really repairable thing. Well, the older the better, that's for sure. The old ones you can fix, the new stuff, literally, you replace. Wow. Time has expired for the Bowers competitors. They're all gone. Nobody retires from this business. They, uh retire the hard way, unfortunately. It was a highly respected field in its day. The alarm across the industry already sounding off. Nobody wants to invest the time to learn how to do this. And the gears are now turning. Yeah. You want the yeah. same exact one? Yeah, please. Okay. Still got a little bit of the pen left in there. As the family searches for a way to drill their passion into the next generation. Oh, that's beautiful there, isn't it? No, it's... Before they clock out for good. Well, there's a lot that's ticking in here, so it's not dead yet. I would hate to think that I would be the last one. In Atlanta, I'm Adam Harding. My grandfather would just be so proud. CBS 46 News.